In this video, we will discuss atomic orbitals. In the last session, we discussed atomic theory, where we learned, atom is the smallest particle, and, it comprises nucleus at the center, and, electrons revolving around the nucleus. But in reality, electrons won't revolve around the nucleus. Instead, they move around the nucleus, in a random way. So, we can't predict, what's going to be, the next position of electron, accurately, until we measure it. When we try to measure, the position of an electron, it appears at some random point, that means, it is showing the, particle behavior of the electron. If you don't measure it, the electron can be anywhere, around the nucleus. That means, it is showing the, wave behavior of electron. As said above, when we try to measure the electron, it will be found at some place. And, if we try to measure it again, it will be found somewhere else. So, every time you measure it, it is found in a, new place. Hence we say that, electrons can't have, single deterministic path. But, we can predict, where can be an electron, with the help of probability. How on earth, the particles, that govern the world, works on probability. Let's see, how exactly, electrons can be found with probability. If we observe an electron, moving around the nucleus, it covers a, three-dimensional space. Most of the times, the electron is found in this space, that is, there is 90% probability, of finding the electron, in that three-dimensional space. This three-dimensional space, looks spherical in shape, from which, it got the name, s, orbital. Orbital is defined as, the uncertain area, around the nucleus, where the probability, of finding an electron is 90%. What if another electron comes? This second electron, is also found to be, moving in the same space, as the earlier electron. But, scientists observed that, the second electron, always spins opposite to the first one. What if third electron comes? The probability of finding third electron, covers more space than first two electrons, but with the same spherical shape. So, as the third electron covers different space, scientists concluded that, an orbital, can hold a maximum of two electrons. As the first two electrons, found in a single spherical space, nearest to the nucleus. This orbital is represented as 1s2, where 1 indicates the energy level, and, 2 represents, 2 electrons found in this orbital. The first two electrons, cover, less three-dimensional space, compared to the third electron. That implies, distance from the nucleus, is minimum, for the first two electrons. So, they have lower potential energy, compared to third electron. It is complex, to show, the three-dimensional orbitals, and, energies of electrons. So, people came up with, an easy way of representing them, with planetary model. This planetary model, contains, concentric circles, around the nucleus. Where each circle represents, the energy level, and, orbital. These circles are called orbits. First orbit represents, the first spherical orbital, containing two electrons. So, the first two electrons are shown on the first orbit. Scientists named it as, K, and, gave it value, 1, as, it is, the first orbit or energy level. And the third electron, is shown on second orbit, as it has different energy level. Now, what happens with the fourth electron? 